Hey guys, welcome back to another Virgo Girl recommendation. Today's movie is going to be Broke Back Mountain. Now, I had not seen this movie in a very, very long time. Have you guys seen this movie? If not, watch it. It is one of my recommendations. The reason why I recommend this movie is because I realized in watching this movie this time that this movie is more about relationships, you know, intimate relationships with people who you feel comfortable with being yourself, people who you feel comfortable with just kind of opening up to and just being vulnerable, etc., etc. I think this movie, you can rep in your head, you can put anyone in these roles and kind of imagine what it's like to meet somebody when you're having, when your life is kind of going not in the best way, you know, you have a lot going on, you have a lot on your mind mentally, you're trying to live up to society standards on certain things, yet you are failing. <laughs> your life isn't really where it's supposed to be. And you feel like, like you're supposed to be doing something more with your life. However, you're not. You're just where you are at this point in your life. I think a lot of people can relate to that, where you are just where you are, but it's definitely not where you you want to be, or nor is it where you should be. However, it's where you are. And at that moment, you just need someone who can love and accept you for who you are, and you need to be able to just let your hair down and relax, take off the, you know, Take off the makeup, take off the wigs, take off the suit, um, take off the, you know, not have to go work out and bench press 500 pounds, whatever. You just want to be able to just be who you are in that moment. No matter how broken you are, no matter how far from your goals you are, you want to be able to be in that moment, be accepted and be able to just breathe. And I feel like that is such a relatable thing. Because everyone is not where they want to be in life. And everyone is not out here setting goals and achieving them all, unfortunately. I, now, I think, on another note, I think it's great to set goals, achieve them. I think it's great to be the best person that you can be. However, there are times in, lives, in life where you're just not there. You know, you're trying to get there, but you're not there. And a lot of times you receive more criticism criticism than love, and that in turn makes things worse. I'll give you guys a quick, 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 quick story. Not even a story time, but a quick thing about me. I personally have always been extremely... Um, I want to say I was pretty sure of myself as far as what I was able to do you know, from the age of like 17 when I, you know, first went off to college. And I feel like I never really had that negative thoughts like, you can't do that. You can't. I felt like whatever I wanted to do, I could just go do it pretty much for the most part. I was very driven. I was pretty self-assured. And as life passed on, to make a long story short, things happened to where I ended up running into several, several um, situations and people who just really, really, really were negative and they really just tried to tear me down. And it's a series of things that happened. I'm not going to go into it, but the whole point is when those things happen to you and it happens so much, so much, so much, so much, it will cause you or it can cause you if you're not really, really super strong to question yourself. And in questioning yourself, the one thing I learned and self-doubt and then and then it can lead to low self-esteem, things like that. It really, really diminishes, diminishes, I can't even talk, diminishes your self-worth. And um, it, it changes how you look at yourself. So at that point in time in my life, I wasn't the same person I was even two years prior. So what I'm saying is at that time was when I needed at the most people who were supportive and who could actually 
at that time accept me for who I was at that time, even though I wasn't the same person I was two years ago. And you don't always get that. So you can't, in life, you're not going to always get that because no one owes us anything. So sometimes we get it, sometimes we don't. When we don't get it, those are the times we really have to pull ourselves together and be strong for ourselves and find that inner voice and, you know, have enough confidence to come out of it, which is so much easier said than done. But with that said, that brings me back to Brokeback Mountain. So what I'm saying is I know, like, I feel like this movie, it was a great movie. I feel like it was a very deep movie, but I also feel like the underlying meaning of it was about a, two people in a situation where they actually just met somebody who they felt comfortable with. There's nothing in the world like meeting someone who you feel comfortable with and who just unconditionally loves you, who unconditionally likes you, no matter what. You don't have to lose 10 pounds for them to say, oh yeah, okay, I like you now. You don't have to tone down your personality. You don't have to tone up your personality, which was shown in the movie because one, um, the, um, gosh, Heath Ledger was more kind of like reserved, whereas um, Jake Gyllenhaal was more kind of like more outgoing, like more like just more boisterous type person. But it was fine. You know, it just in the beginning, you saw a little bit of a, I won't even say conflict, but you could see where it was kind of like, uh, this person is different from me. But then you could just see how they just started to be friends who just got to know each other organically and just loved each other. And that's simple. It's just, it's really that simple. Now you can go ahead and go deeper into, oh, it was two men. It was this and that. But on the surface of the, the surface and the whole meaning behind the movie for me was just about finding somebody who can really accept you and love you and where you can just be yourself. And it's just something that's innocent, not even innocent, just something that's simple. I should say simple and just doesn't take a lot of effort and it's just refreshing. So that's what my thoughts were on this movie. Um, I don't want to give away um, everything for the people who haven't seen the movie, but I feel like if you're living here um, for any amount of time on earth, you pretty much have a general idea of what Brokeback Mountain is about. <coughs> but for the sake of those who haven't seen the movie, I won't give away every single thing, but I th I like the movie. I like um, Jake Gyllenhaal and um, Heath Ledger. I think they both are great. You know, they do. They're great actors, and I feel like I really feel like they together in this movie really brought something to me that. I wouldn't have seen in them, I wouldn't have thought of, you know, they brought something out in this movie that I wouldn't have thought of otherwise. So what they brought to me was, what I got out of this movie is, in life, there is someone out there that you don't have to do all the extras for. There are people out there who can accept you for you, and it's okay. And And... Like me, I have people like that in my life, and as I'm sure you do, or you may not, and, and you, I'm sure you'll meet that those types of people at some point. But here's the thing. A lot of times when we have those people in our lives, we don't understand how valuable they are. And it just made me realize, wow, this is amazing. So instead of wasting time with people where you have to kind of cover up or you kind of have to like be a little bit more reserved or you feel like you have to just kind of do anything differently from what you're doing. It's good to just accept the people that you have in your life. If you meet someone new and you feel like there's so much you have to do just to be comfortable around this person or just to make them comfortable, it may not be the best fit. So in this movie, you could just tell everything was organic. Everything was just easy breezy. Uh, well, not easy breezy because of course the underlying storyline, but because just, 
it just I, I'm focusing just more on their relationship now the movie has so many other things to offer I mean they both had um, whole other relationships um, with women they both had families I mean the the movie goes deep you know and it, it, it really really um, kind of pulls on your heartstrings just in certain you know parts of the movie but I guess for me, just looking at it a little bit deeper, I always like to watch a movie and come out of it with something, you know, like, like, what was the meaning? Like, how does this relate to me kind of thing? And how can I, what can I get out of this that's positive? And as far as that movie goes, I think it's just about love. And on the flip side, I think also with you as a person, when you meet somebody, I think if you feel like, uh, if this person would only just shut up or, oh my God, if this person would only stop being so boring, I think you have to come to the realization that maybe this isn't exactly the best person for you to try to form a relationship or friendship with if you're trying to change them. <laughs> so yeah, I think it goes both ways. Like, I don't think that it is the best thing, unless someone is doing something harmful um, or illegal or something like that. It's just not in the best interest to try to change a person in order for you to be comfortable or for them or you or for you to have to change in order for someone else to be comfortable. You should be able to just live out loud without any repressions and love yourself and love the people in your life and they should and vice versa. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this video up. I just want to know what you guys thought about Brokeback Mountain. I had not seen this movie in years, and I happened to see it um, listed on one of the channels that I'm subscribed, one of the um, streaming services I have. I can't even remember um, which one. I want to say it was um, it was either Stars or it was on Hulu. Um, and at any rate, Brokeback Mountain is, you can just check your streaming service that you have and see if they have it available. Um, and actually, you know what? Give me a second here. I will tell you guys if I can see um, where it's streaming. I'll just do that for you guys to see really quickly here. I don't know why I didn't. It's actually, I'll tell you guys where they have it. They do have it on Showtime. So I think that's where I watched it. Yeah, that had to be where I watched it. They have it on Showtime. They also have it free on Peacock. Um, that's a streaming service that they say they have it for free. It's on Sling TV, Hulu, FUBU, Amazon Prime Video with a premium subscription. And YouTube, they have it for $3.99. Um, Apple TV, Vudu, etc. All right. So yeah, it's out there. You guys can watch it. Comment below. Let me know what you thought about Brokeback Mountain. I thought it was, yeah. I thought it was a good movie and it was something very interesting. In closing, I want to say when you watch the movie, the one thing I want you to pay attention to is the beginning meeting, the beginning, how in the beginning it was nothing there, you know, nothing there. It was just totally two guys. They weren't even really paying much attention to each other. It wasn't like that. And just look at the steps to how it kind of like developed and let me know what you think below, how things just ended up playing out and how they ended up just becoming closer and closer and closer. And yeah, let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, and hit that thumbs up button.